Hello and welcome, Ivan Plays here. I've been playing around with Ravenfield a bit, and uh, so I just removed the bodies. You can only have the legs. I turned uh, quads into tractors. That's cool, right? Yeah, this is what a squad looks like without any body, just the legs. In case you don't remember, this model exists because of an easter egg that was temporarily in Ravenfield. Insert ball walking. So the tractor is doing just fine. I have also modified the colors of my team and uh, added a face. And, and also added a different mouth. This looks cool, right? Yes, it does! But that's not all. I took models from tabs, actually from tabs, and just imported them into Ravenfield and it looks a bit weird, just a tiny bit weird, also I didn't fix the rotation quite yet. But nobody seems to really mind. I mean, it's not like there's an actual problem, is there? I mean, come on. This just adds a few wings to the plane, so... Whoops, this is not part of what I did. This is just a bug. I have been asking for a drivable tractor in a while, so I also just turned the AK-47 into the tractor, and I think... Uh, and uh, whichever gun I came across, everything is a tractor now. Don't believe me? Take a look. This is a tractor. This is a tractor. The tractor is still a tractor, though. I think this is kind of unfair. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's make this fair again. So let's just get the AK-47. Export raw. And get the same file and path ID, 030. And import raw. Get the AK-47 raw. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I think 6, 109, that was the original tractor. Alright, let's try shared assets 2. Alright, let's try 3. Still no. Well, I guess it has to be 6 then. They weren't so, so re recent, the tractors, were they? Yeah, the tractor is here. Yes, of course, this makes no sense. It is not a separate object, it is part of the map. I shouldn't even be looking inside these. If anything, I should be opening the level files, which is also possible. Oh my, I've wasted how much time on this? We're looking for meshes. Helicopter hull, binoculars, cylinder. A cube, is this the cube we're looking for? Nope, still the same. Um, so I'm giving up on that. So in a previous video, I used a little helicopter model that I created to show in the map where helicopters are placed. By now, Steel Raven solved that problem, but I still have that model. I want to replace the helicopter model. So here's my helicopter model. I'm just going to save it as a land file. I'm going to start a new Unity project. It has to be the same version as, as Ravenfield, I think, which is 5.6.2. There are already some meshes from tabs. Doesn't matter. I'm just going to drag in the helicopter. I have Blender installed so it imports properly. I drop the helicopter in here. I save it uh, and I, I just build it. So I make sure the, the scene in which the helicopter is is included and I just uh, build. And that is it. We can test this. There we go. Now we have to go inside the data and uh, there's only shared asset zero. All right, so what we need is Unity Asset Bundle and Extractor and the installation is really annoying. We have to Let's see, we get release 2.0 for 64-bit. We download this, then we get bug fix, download. And then we also need the new type package. Let's download it, okay? And then in here, I mean, I recommend you use 7-zip so you can extract everything at the same time, but whatever, let's just extract first this, and then class data. All right, now we need to go in here, go into 64-bit, cut this out, get in here, 64-bit, paste it in here, and then we need to do, go to class, data, cut, paste. So uh, this is what we have now. And uh, let's open it up. Let's get the helicopter from the project that I created. Shared asset zero, I assume. Okay, now no more problems when importing. Mesh. Okay, so cube zero two, that could be it. Let's see, cube, cube one, real human being. I, I don't know. Let's just extract all these cubes. Plugins, export to OBG. 
what is going on? Why is there no name file anymore? Okay, so let's do uh, export. No, let's do export dump, copy and plugins, obj, and it makes it properly. But this is an actual cube, so what the hell? I don't, I don't know. What, what about this? Oh, there it is. There it is. I don't know why. Oh, I guess the other cubes were just the helicopter thingies because it were they were different meshes inside one obj file, so it was really my fault. Okay, so cube is the helicopter. Let's export the helicopter. Let's save it as. Let's save it as Ivan Heli. All right, here we go. Here it is. Let's cut it out and um, let's move it to this folder and. Uh, here we're gonna replace the uh, hull. So let's open, paste the folder, shared uh, assets two and hull. Okay, here we have a hull, and this must be the hull of a helicopter because it's the biggest. And uh, but let's double check. The OBJ viewer that I use is called Open Free Model Viewer, by the way. Open Free Mod. It's excellent. I don't know of any other solution. Okay, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna import raw and then um, Ivan Heli. Ivan Heli raw. All right, and we're gonna save this to I and then shared assets back one. First, we're gonna close this and remove the I. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, wrong seat. My helicopter, it is perfect. This is my helicopter. I made it. It is flying perfectly like a bird in the sky. Upon special request, I will give you some eyes. All we have to do is find mouth baked and plug in, edit, load image and get this in there. And of course, save. OK, this is this is what Yes, this is exactly what I wanted this to be. <laughs> this is how it should be. Everything is in order. Excellent. Perfect. So as you already saw, I changed the blue soldier texture. Let's change the red soldier texture. We're gonna get uh, Unity Assets Bundle Extractor. We're gonna open up resources.assets. And we're gonna look for a texture type material called red. Here we go. 0267. Let's use plugins, export to PNG, red. Now we can edit it, for example, in GIMP. Uh, okay. Image mode RGB, and now we can change it free at will. All right, I like this. Let's just export it over right and back to asset uh, bundle extractor. Click red, click plugins. Click edit and OK. And now we load the same image. We have to switch to PNG. Red. OK. And now we have to save this thing. Resources X. And now we find re resources.assets back one. Oh, yeah, we have to, as usual, close this first. Escape will do. And then remove the X. And now we can try it out. I like it already. Oh yeah. Nice orange team. <laughs> okay, this is a bit ugly, but it's different. It's it is something different. It is something interesting. I do not regret this. All right, we're going to continue trying to replace the helicopter. Let's check resources for hull. Let's import raw. Let's see if that was enough. Yes, it was. All the helicopters are my model. <laughs> as broken as they are, this is fantastic. So this is my Heli, Heli 1 map, which can be found in the workshop. As soon as the workshop is there. And everybody's flying my helicopter. This is awesome. This is awesome. All right, I think we need to change the mesh in edit mode and that will fix it, hopefully. Okay. All right, let's try this again. Resources back up to overwrite, close, try. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. They are too small, 
The seats are probably outside. I don't mind. I like this. This is all I ever wanted. Fantastic. I love it. Oh, beautiful. However, this does not use the texture yet. Let's figure this one out. Let's get the hull in here. Interesting, interesting uh, alignment. Let's figure this one out. Does it have a material? Yes, it does. Is it called camo? Ah, it's called desert camo. Uh, plugins export to... Okay, TGA, desert camo. And let's open this up. This is it. So maybe all we need to do is unwrap this. Just you. Unwrap, not good. Smart unwrap, whatever. Oh yeah, this looks good. How about light pack? No. Follow active... No. Super... No. Excellent, no. Sphere, no. No, no. Uh, smart was really smart. All right, this is good. Let's just scale it down a little. And let's save it like that. I think it does. Yes, it works. Perfect. Gorgeous. So the only thing missing really is obvious. Let's get desert camo. Texture, plugins, export to, well, let's use PNG. Let's scale down this layer to 512. And back in here, we can use plugins, edit, OK, load, camo.png, OK, save, and done. Let's give it a go. <laughs> it seems to be working just fine. My shotgun is camo, my helicopter is camo. What else would I want? I am my camo. Just so you know. Ha! Buddy, stay down. <laughs> this is amazing. And yes, of course there's a TIE fighter. Yes, it is working. <laughs> oh, how lovely. Yes, please board this TIE fighter. <laughs> okay, this is a bit silly, but I think that's nothing new right now. Alright. Fantastic. Fantastic. I gotta rotate that thing again. So there's even an X-Wing. Oh yes. <laughs> it is upside down. It is way too huge. But it is there. <laughs> what, what, what? Everything according to plan. Beautiful. Rotate it by 90 degrees. No, 100. 100 and... Why is it not snapping? And I guess let's... Let's scale it. So here they are. Still too big, but at least they are facing the right way. What the heck? No. <laughs> Don't do that. I wish I had any idea how to automate this. Okay, still too far to the front. A bit too far to the left. Arm is nearly center. As for up down, I think maybe a little bit up. I'm not sure. Okay, the model is inverted. Something I did not do correctly. Partially. Wait, no. Completely? I don't really understand. I think only the nose is inverted. I have to flip the normals or something. But uh, other than that, this is pretty much perfect. The position of the pilot is uh, spot on. Nice. Heh. <laughs> I think I should fix this one. <laughs> this is just too silly. So I hope that this lesson in modding Unity games, in particular Ravenfield, was useful to you. Yeah, uh, make sure to subscribe and turn on these notifications if you want to see more in the future and be the first one to see this. And apart from that, I hope to see you in the next video. Ciao! <laughs>
Excellent. Just look at the shadow. Man, this feels great. Rebel scum. Yes! <laughs> Stupid rebels. No! Abandon a uh, tie. 